We're the Adventure, Adventure Brothers. Adventure Brothers. That's just what it sounds like. We're brothers and we adventure. We've been hiking in the Sierra. The wind up here is about 370 miles per hour. It's about negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Maybe, yeah. Climbing in Nepal. That never is behind us. There it is. Paddling in Arizona. Oh, it's cold. Scuba diving in Indonesia and horseback riding in Iceland. My horse almost always listens to me. Oh, no. But as you're well aware, this year has been the worst. That deadly coronavirus is now spreading so quickly. This means staying at home to the extent possible. And I do think we should do it broadly throughout the country. But even so, we're still the Adventure Brothers, and we must adventure. And we've discovered we can continue doing that in virtual reality. Hiking, climbing, paddling, scuba diving, and horseback riding. But we've noticed that our virtual reality adventures don't feel as visceral and authentic as our real ones. Yeah, there's just an ingredient missing. So we started wondering, is there a way we could make our VR adventures feel more real with just stuff that we have around the house? And we love kayaking in real life, so to find out, we got some wireless Oculus Quest VR headsets with Phantom Covert Ops, where you go on a mission to infiltrate a military base with a kayak. And to make this adventure feel real at home, we found some old kayaks in a garage and some rope and went out to find water. Phantom unit, NATO has detected suspicious activity inside a derelict Cold War naval facility on the coast of the Black Sea. Zero two, I'll be leading a helo insertion on the outer perimeter of the base. From there, we need you to bypass their defenses. Okay, I'm in the ship. I'm about to leave the ship. Zero two, you are cleared to deploy. I'm cleared to deploy. Remember, this is a stealth mission. I figured out how to pick up the paddle in the game while also picking up the paddle in real life. Now that sounds like maybe it should be easy. Really, it's hard. Now I move my arms and I can see my paddle moving in the game. And I can see it moving, or feel it moving in real life. Oh wow, it's working. Yeah, mine is working too. I'm moving. Oh no, we've, we've crashed into each other. Hello. Okay, I'm cold. <laughs> I'm paddling forward. I need to infiltrate this army base. Please move out of my way. You're, you're in my physical space. <laughs> in the physical world. I can't get out of this ship because you're right here. In the virtual world. <laughs> okay, now I'm getting out of the ship. Oh yeah, this feels pretty cool. Except for when I hit you. The paddle makes it extremely difficult to paddle. <laughs> you just, ah, your real paddle's off. Uh, you, paddle. you drop the real paddle. You need to get the real paddle back. Okay, got the real paddle. So in Phantom Covert Ops, you're paddling a kayak to infiltrate a military base. And even though the whole point of the game is to avoid detection by the guards, the kayak is stuffed with weapons and you need to use controller buttons to shoot the guns. I'm going to try it without the real paddle now. So you lose the resistance of paddling in real water, which adds a lot. Uh, but you don't lose the fact that I still feel like I'm sitting in a kayak floating on water, because I am. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I don't know where I can be hidden. Oh God, is that a thunderstorm? Am I supposed to be in a kayak on water during this? Is that thunder for real? Yeah. I'm feeling real wind, real rain, like real thunder. <laughs> it feels real, pretty real. It says I'm exposed, but... Uh-oh. I was detected. They're gonna shoot me. Get me out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. Why did you pick up the real paddle? <laughs> because that's how you kayak your paddle. I picked up the real kayak. Oh no. Is that what I did? I picked up the real paddle and kayak away? I mean, that makes the most sense to me. Does it make the most sense to everyone else watching this? Does it make sense what I'm doing right now? It doesn't seem like it. Oh, I almost made it through, but everyone shot me. I hate being stealth. I just want to kill everyone. I just got killed. I'm dead. I'm rating the adventurousness of Phantom Covert Ops 5 Alexander the Great, one of history's most famous military commanders. 
who oversaw 160 Navy ships. This game was super adventurous. Not only are you kayaking by night, but also trying to infiltrate a military base without getting caught. And it's especially fun to do it in a kayak. Just make sure your kayak can't move. For next adventure, I'm gonna go diving. I'll be playing the VR game Free Diver Triton Down, a diving simulator which lets you go underwater and unlock a deep ocean mystery. Ooh. To make this one feel real, you're gonna need something to create that underwater feeling and something to keep your headset and controllers dry. Okay, I've got it on. How's it feel? I hope this thing keeps it dry. I'm not sure this is our best idea. Uh, I'm not sure it's our best idea either. Doc, I haven't been diving in months. Trust me, you want to see this with your own eyes. Follow the cable down to the excavation site. Don't worry. We will be monitoring you on the camera. And your watch will alert you when you need to surface for air. No surprise, we couldn't get a globe filled with air underwater without attaching heavy weights to it, which didn't seem exactly safe. Okay, I'm gonna try it like that. I'm just kidding. This is an old broken VR headset we had sitting around. Even we're not dumb enough to submerge our Oculus Quest in a lake. We just thought the idea of diving with it was funny. But now, we'll need to come up with a better way to play Freediver in water. This is really bad weather. <laughs> and that's how you play Freediver Triton Down in a lake. How'd it work? Uh, it did not work at all, <laughs> at all. I think we should try another method. I need to know when you're about to go into the water. Okay, so I'm about to skip the, what kind of countdown do you need? You know, like a, a three, two, one, or a five, four, three, two, one. Follow the cable down to the excavation site. Okay, I'm gonna start to try to go in, and I'm going in. I'm going in. Oh, oh my God, it's freezing. Oh. Are you underwater? What was that? Are you underwater? I am underwater. It's so cold. Oh my God, this feels like surprisingly like. Uh, Surprisingly, like actual scuba diving, it's so cold. Okay, so I'm in the water. I'm following the line down to the bottom of the, of the ocean here. Coming down. Okay, perfect. Wow, it really is cold down here. Jeez, freezing. Freezing down here. Okay, so I'm swimming to the bottom of the ocean. And I'm looking at my, okay, so I have enough oxygen right now. Freediver Triton Down is a diving survival game and it's super stressful because you're always running out of air as you swim as fast as you can down dark corridors underwater. If you can't find bottles of air in time, you'll drown, which is terrifying. It's freezing, the water's freezing down here. This is crazy. I'm almost out of oxygen and oh my God. I need to get more oxygen or I'm gonna drown. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. I got, oh no, I can't. <laughs> I can't breathe with the oxygen because the globe doesn't let me put it close enough to my face. Okay, that's working. Now it's working. I'm, sa I'm safe. And I see that there's this weird symbol. I can see, and I have to find some special artifact. Now there's like a huge current coming out of this cave and I can't get into the cave. Ah, according to the readings from your watch, your oxygen is low. Uh. Where's the oxygen? I love. Oh, there's the tank. There's the tank. I'm gonna try to. I'm trying to swim to the tank as fast as I can. Oh no! You should come up for air. mad. Everyone's mad that I'm. I'm gonna. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. I can't. I. I uh, that's it. I think it's over for me. Oh wait. No. Maybe not. I hear myself choking and somehow I fall into the ground. I can't seem to get out. Oh god, now I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead and cold. I'm giving Freediver Triton Down five Jacques Cousteaus, a famous undersea explorer who also was an inventor of scuba diving. 
This game feels really adventurous. It really feels like you're scuba diving in deep sea caves, especially if you're standing under a cold shower. For our next adventure, I'm gonna be chasing bandits in the old West on horseback. That means I'm playing Jailbreak in the BZ Fit Play app. To make this adventure feel real at home, normally you would use a stationary bike for this, but we're going to be using this bike built for two. How many times have you uh, ridden a bicycle built for two, would you say? Are you experienced? Are you, are you, would you say you're good at this? Uh, Not right. I've almost never done it. My life is in your hands. I can't see anything. Ah! Oh, the horse is going. I'm in the Old West. I'm riding a horse. The horse is going straight forward. It's going fast. Okay, I'm, I'm chasing gonna be your bandits. Out here. I have no control over I'm... anything except my lasso. Just I'm no, curious. no steering wheel and no brakes. All I know is the Old West and my flaming lasso and the beautiful skies, the wonderful rolling green hills, this southwestern architecture. It's it's so rustic. It reminds me of days when you could get shot on the street just for calling a man yellow. <laughs> I don't remember those days. Oh, well, I wasn't alive, but I've seen it in the movies. We're going through a residential neighborhood. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I mean, it seems a beautiful day to be catching bandits with a flaming lasso, paddling my horse. There's people waving at us from a porch over on the right here. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> Happy July 4th. Okay, so we're starting, we're getting ready to go down a hill. Oh my god, I mean, there's no hills, so any movement in real life that is not in this game makes me, it's gonna make me throw up. <laughs> are you feeling motion sickness? No, I don't actually, I'm not actually prone to that. Does but if like you you're... are prone to motion sickness, this will make you vomit. Just Do you feel for... like you're on a horse? Okay, we're going downhill. I've... No, we wouldn't. I don't, I don't, not a problem. I feel like we're going very fast. This band is getting away from me. We have to speed up. Maybe change the gear. I can't, he's getting away. Okay, so prepare yourself. We're gonna go down a real life hill. Oh God. Oh life. God, this is terrifying. <laughs> this horse is going so fast. We're just gonna go right by this car. Just hold on. This okay. is hard. Right by the car. This is so hard. Keep lassoing. I'm trying. Gotcha. Yes! I got him. I lasso him. This is intense. This is the most intense way possible to play this game. I'm tired. I'm moving a million miles an hour. Someone else is in control. It's like, it's like riding a horse. Oh yes. I am so good at this. Okay, we're going yes. to intersection. There's no intersections in the Wild West. It's just dirt road. Dirt road as far as the eye can see. Oh my God, that's so crazy. Oh my God. What is happening? Okay, it's, oh Jesus. Why am I turning around in the game? Now I'm backwards in the game. So now I'm like, hey, hello. <laughs> now they're chasing me. We got it, we're gonna cry. <laughs> That's impossible, there's nothing in front of us. Okay, so we're gonna Oh, I'm writing the adventurousness of BZ Fit played Jailbreak with three Lewis and Clarks, who, along with Native American Sacagawea, crossed the entire United States on horseback in the 19th century. It felt amazing to be flying down with the wind in my face, feeling like I was riding a horse. It felt like I was going six times as fast as I was actually going. It was actually one of the best ones. For our next adventure, I'm going rowing. I'll be using the VR fitness app HollowFit to explore lush wildernesses. But we don't have a rowing machine. So to make this adventure feel real, you're gonna need your own boat, the biggest rubber bands you can find, and some marine life for the atmosphere. Yes, it's working. Rowing? I'm rowing past icebergs. Oh, wow. The icebergs are just so huge. We're going over there to get the, we have to get that chest to get points. I can only see fish now from the inside. Okay, fish map, but I see beautiful Antarctic icebergs. Let's go over there to that chest where we can, there's, it looks like there's more boxes and there's a canoe, another canoe we can get. I only get fish now. Uh, I feel like I'm not going fast enough. I'm going, okay, yeah. I'm starting to burst the power. Oh. But if we got more forward, it looks like it's prettier up there. Oh, oh, oh shoot. <laughs> I, I, I feel. We need to, we need to grease up. I'm just looking up at the sky now. I just see the structures above me. Oh, that thing needs to be greased up. What are you? Is that what we like that whole time? Yeah. I'm reading the adventurousness of Holofit with two Erdin Aruches. 
a Turkish American adventurer who was the first to do a human powered circumnavigation of the Earth, and he used a robo. This game is great for fitness, and the environments are really rich, but there's just not much more to the adventure than rowing a boat. For our next adventure, we're gonna go rock climbing. We'll be playing the VR game The Climb, a simulator which lets you scale mountains outdoors. To make this adventure feel real, you're gonna want a climbing rope, the side of a barn, and a blistering hot summer day. Okay, so we're racing to the top of this uh, thing. So no holds barred, there is contact, is, there is a gentleman's rule. Gentleman's rule. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, climb. Hand over hand, hand over hand, hand over hand. Don't stop moving, don't stop moving. That's how you keep your stamina up here in the rock climbing world. It this feels like I'm climbing. It has the okay. same difficulties. Climbing. climbing. This harness isn't very comfortable. Being tired and uncomfortable. That's what I remember rock climbing being. Oh, and being gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. That's the most realistic part about this is that the I harness. really don't want to be wearing the harness <laughs> and hanging from oh, oh, I fell, oh God! Oh. Ah. This part's tricky. Gotta switch my hand. Oh, this is very tricky. Uh, oh no. I don't want to fall here. It's very scary down there. Darn it! Oh. Oh, I hit the ground. Oh, everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm just, just me in the barn. I'm climbing to the right. Chalking up. I'm climbing along the sledge. Are you at the sideways part? Yeah, are we still racing? Am I waiting for you? I am no, far. we're racing to the top still. Even when you fall, you just restart. You have to keep going. Yeah, this part that's exposed, oh geez. Crazy vertigo, you can see down into the whole bay. Oh, I think they're beating me. Oh my God, that whole thing just fell off, fell off. This, this is not a safe climb. I don't think this, this is, is safe. dangerous. I don't think this is safe. Good thing, I'm, good thing I'm tied in. I mean, it's surprising how much just hanging from a barn with a rope feels like you're really climbing. It really does. Uh, getting close, I think, but not there yet. Okay, I'm getting across this other rock finally. Oh geez, holy crap, that thing broke. Yeah. Oh! I've been saying that. Okay, okay. I win! Oh god, really? Yes! Oh, wow, I was so far behind. I just fell, I just fell when you won. This is beautiful up here. You see the sun in the distance. Lots and lots of gorgeous buildings on the tops of huge rocks. Amazing architecture. This is a great payoff. It does hurt, but that's no pain, no gain. It should hurt when you go rock climbing. That's what I say. I mean, that's my experience. It always hurts. I'm rating the adventurousness of the climb five Edmund Hillary's, who, along with Sherpa mountaineer Tenzing Norgay, were the first two men to climb Mount Everest. This game feels like a real adventure. It feels really like climbing, especially when you're hanging from a real rope harness, even though we we're on the side of the barn. The graphics are really great, especially in the Oculus Quest, and when you fall, it's surprisingly scary. For our next adventure, I'm gonna be going sailing. I'm gonna be playing Marine vs. Cup, a virtual reality regatta simulator. That means I'm gonna be racing sailboats. To make this adventure feel real at home, you'll need a water source, a wind source, a flotation device, and if you're gonna bring your kids along, you'll need to bring this baby holder. I'm in Sydney here, I can see the Sydney Opera House. It's a beautiful day in Sydney, is it? I think it, it kind of always is, most of the time. Uh, I can feel that, I can hear the ocean. I can hear it. I can also hear the water sloshing. Yeah, floating floating on the water really helps us feel like more like sailing. Now I'm sailing, now I'm sailing. Oh, I see. I, there's so much tacking and jibing. What is the? What are the words for that again? I have to have a tack and a jib? Or what is it? I think it's a jib sail and a main sail. Jib sail and main sail. Yeah, but when I when I make those turns, it's like, oh, I know, it's just called a tack. I used the wrong tack, I believe. And when, I, when you trim the sail. Yeah, well, okay, I'll trim it, I'll trim it, I'll do some trimming. This is quite an adventure. Oh, what do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Oh God, oh God, I have to go around the buoy. All right, going into the wind. Okay, more, a little more, a little more, a little more, just easy does it. Oh, I hit the buoy, ow, oh, my face. Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, what 
do we do with the rope? Do we do with the rope? Do we do with the rope? Do we do with the I'm losing, but at least I'm in the race. Yeah, anyone out there who knows how sailing works knows that I'm doing this very wrong. My feet are a little, a little cold. I feel the water in my feet, but you know, there's no, there's no salt spray. There's no sea breeze. Oh, oh, I do feel like I'm out here on the, the open ocean. The wind in my face. The breeze in my hair, those are the same things. It's like a real sailing adventure, except I am losing so badly because let's be honest, I do not know how to sail a boat. Uh, I know I have a steering wheel and I know that's not what it's called. So I'm rating the adventurousness of Marine Verse Cup three Ferdinand Magellans, the Portuguese explorer that led the expedition that ultimately circumnavigated the earth in the 1500s. That's because the sights and sounds of being on a sailboat were there. The technicals of how sailing works seemed accurate, and floating on a Ferdinand here in this cold pool really added to the adventurousness. For our next adventure, I'm gonna be going hiking in the wilderness. I'll be playing Nature Treks VR, a natural environment simulation. To make this adventure feel real at home, you'll need a wind source, a water source, the smell of pine trees, and a dingy garage to walk around in. I'm in a green meadow. I see a buck, I see rabbits, I see birds floating about, I see trees. I can hold on to this stick which I just picked up. Oh, I can even throw it from hand to hand if I'm good. Wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, rocks in the distance. Oh, a little bird just landed on my stick. Hello, little bird. Hello, little bird. You're very adorable. Okay, fly away, bird. Goodbye. Godspeed, little sparrow. I see this beautiful mist in the distance and the doe through the mist. It's very, it's just gorgeous. It's just a very beautiful place. And I can see the sights, I can hear that, I can feel the breezes, I can feel the breeze like I'm outside. Ah, oh, it must be coming off of those hills. But it's quite strong, the breeze. It's more like a wind, a powerful wind right in my face. It's just like being outside in some sort of hurricane or a thunderstorm. There must be, there must be a storm. There must be a storm coming, yes? Well, I can hear it, something in the distance I hear. Smells like, yes, the storm is, the stormy breeze is bringing the smell of those pines. Those pines is coming straight towards me. Here we have our menu, which lets us plant flowers, plant trees. Smells like pines still. <laughs> what if I plant more trees? More trees, more trees, more trees, more trees, more trees. I can feel the burning sensation of pine particles in my eyeballs, just like the outside. I don't know how you got it in there. All right, if only I could smell the musk of this buck. You got anything like that? <laughs> Smells like pine still. Here I am in a winter wonderland. It seems there's been a big snowfall. That must have been that storm that came in with the piney breezes. Quite, quite a storm. It really dumped a lot of snow. The birds don't seem affected. There's still lots of birds and, oh, look at all these butterflies. Oh, oh, more birds. Oh, there's birds everywhere. Oh no, the birds are coming at me. Oh, God, it's like a horror hellscape of birds and they're pooping on me. What, why is it so wet? Why are these birds ever, get out of here, birds, go away. Oh, the birds are attacking. They're attacking, the birds are attacking me. There's pooping on me, they're pooping on me. Ugh, it's like a Hitchcock movie out here. Get me out of here. I must get to the shelter. Oh, it's actually pretty cool in here. Oh, it's nice. Hmm, it's nice in here. Hey, good place to take a little nap. Hmm. I'm rating the adventurousness of Nature Treks VR one John Muir, a pioneer of environmental activism. Now this game is not really an adventure. It is more of a meditation and it does a great job at that. But it's not that adventurous. That's why we only gave it one John Muir. Before we go, we just need to remind you that we are in fact complete idiots. Don't try to recreate anything you just saw. But the point is, whether you're out in the wilderness or stuck at home, you should always be looking for some adventure. This is unacceptable. What? What is this? No unicorns. No unicorns. Oh, but we love unicorns. Mm. Bye, baby. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to see where we go next.